What's up everybody out there in the YouTube trucking community? Sean Cahalen, Christian Brother Truck, coming at you again with another video today. And I wanted to bring up another topic that uh, I forgot to bring up when I was talking about winter driving tips. And that is frozen brakes. So as you can see by the picture in the thumbnail, when brakes freeze up, it can cause you to drag basically a locked up hub across the ground and ruin your your tires and you can literally destroy you know hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of tires within a very short uh, distance when your wheel hubs or wheel ends are locked up and you are not able to uh, get them to free up so I'm gonna cover what causes frozen brakes ways to avoid frozen brakes and ways that you can get them unstuck if they do in fact become frozen. So first of all, there's a couple of different reasons why your brakes might freeze. One is, is uh, air, moisture in the air in your supply line going back to your trailer. A lot of modern trucks nowadays have air dryers and they have a canister on, basically your compressor feeds air into a dryer and as it passes through the air dryer, it will pull the moisture out of it. And it's very low maintenance. You don't really have to do anything with it at all, except for um, have the uh, that canister under your hood inspected and switched out every, every so often. So if your brakes become frozen from the inside, what happens is, is you won't be able to supply air back to your brakes and basically one or all of your brakes will be frozen because you won't be able to get any supply air back to your trailer. The second main cause of trailers getting frozen brakes is water buildup in the drum on drum brakes. So what happens is, is when you're driving down the road, you're getting moisture gets flung up into your brake drums. And when you pull into a truck stop and you stop and you set your trailer brakes and tractor brakes um, overnight and it gets colder you'll start to form ice in between the brake pad and the brake drum so the first tip that I will give you is if you're under a load and you're hooked to a trailer and you don't plan on dropping the trailer is don't use your trailer brakes for parking when you pull into a truck stop all you need is your tractor brake set it says right on the knob if you look closely at this, it says not for parking, trailer air supply. So this one is your parking brake. So if you want to avoid a lot of the problems associated with frozen brakes is stop pulling your trailer brake when you're not disconnecting from the trailer. You only want to disconnect from the trailer or you only want to pull, evacuate the air supply from the trailer if you're going to be dropping said trailer. So, I'll go briefly into the details of the difference between your parking brakes and your trailer brakes. Your trailer brakes, the springs inside your, your brake canisters are not as powerful. And so, when you release your trailer brakes, they're just not made, they're not as powerful. They don't stick as hard and they're not going to hold you back. So, and you probably may have noticed this when... You're trying to slide your tandems and on some trailers the the spring brakes just aren't enough to hold your tandem set still while you're trying to slide your tandems forward or back um but anyway they're just not made for parking so basically the a number one way to avoid frozen brakes on your trailer is not to release your trailer brakes when you park at night <clears throat> second tip is you know um and the difference between the tractor brake and the trailer brake is if your trailer brakes become frozen and you release your tractor brakes and you put it in gear you have torque on your drive axles so nine times out of ten if you have a frozen hub on your or wheel position on your tractor and you put the vehicle in gear forward and backwards normally it'll it'll free up unless it's really really frozen solid if you have one of your wheel positions that's not a drive position 
like your front drive of your dual set on your tractor then you can you can throw in your uh, your pumpkin divider lock and try to free it up that way but the best thing that you can do and have on hand is a handy dandy little sledgehammer you get up underneath your truck and you hit your brake drum hard really hard all the way around it as hard as you can and uh, if you're trying to roll and you're you're noticing that you've got a wheel position that's not spinning then you get up underneath there and you smack it with a hammer really hard also comes in handy for uh, banging on nails and self-defense <laughs> some people use these to thump the tires too multi-use tool I think I paid like eight bucks for this or ten bucks or something like that but if you're gonna drive in the winter time and you're gonna be driving in the snow and ice don't leave home without this folks this could be the, the difference between calling a road service guy to come out and pull out his hammer and smack your brake drum to get it to free up for you so great investment <laughs> One of the ways that I was told earlier on in my career to avoid brakes from locking up is when you when you know that you're going to be stopping for the night, apply about 5 or 10 pounds of brake pressure as you're pulling up to the truck stop or, you know, you drive a good distance and uh, lightly apply your brakes to heat them up so that it will evaporate off the, uh, the moisture from the wheels. But... I've never had to do that. Um, generally, I don't run into many problems in snow and ice um, because I don't set my trailer brakes. Um, and if I do pick up a trailer that's been sitting and the wheel ends are frozen, I pull out my hammer and I smack the drum and yeah, I get them released. And then I don't, I don't uh, set my trailer brakes again until until I either bump a dock or I drop the trailer. So, with all of that said. Carry hammer to free up your brake drums and don't set your trailer brakes. If you are habitually setting your trailer brakes, knock it off. <laughs> uh, it's just not a good habit. It's a habit that people get into a lot um, and it's not, it's not needed. Your trailer brakes add a little bit of braking force, but they're not for parking. That's why it says right on that trailer knob not for parking your tractor brakes um, have plenty of parking brake force where you can be fully loaded on a hill like this and uh, your spring brakes and your your tractor brakes should hold you just fine um, the only time you may run into issues with not setting your trailer brakes is if you are on ice and you are on an incline then you want to go ahead and set your trailer brakes um, I have had that happen one time where I come, I pulled into a truck stop or a rest area and I pulled my tractor brake and I was sitting there and then all of a sudden the truck started to slide <laughs> because I didn't have the trailer brake set. So I went ahead and applied the trailer brakes. Um, but that was the one time. So, you know, generally I don't ever set my trailer brakes uh, and that's just because I don't want to have to get out and, you know, free up frozen brakes all the time. So... Well, that's all I've got for an addition to the winter driving tips. Carry a hammer and uh, don't set your trailer brakes. And if you do have a frozen brake, then just get underneath your trailer, find the wheel position that's stuck, and smack it with a hammer until it frees up. Uh, disc brakes. The only issue I've ever had with disc brakes is I had a bad caliper and somehow it was getting moisture inside the caliper. But it was the only one that was getting moisture inside of it and so the caliper was freezing up so it would apply the brake and not back off and uh so they literally had a road service guy come out he took the caliper apart and inside the brake caliper there's a piston in there that pushes on the uh, on the uh, applicator that pinches the pads together and it had frozen solid inside there so it would push but then it wouldn't back off because it was full of ice um i think there was some way that the water was getting in from the outside air somehow getting into the caliper i don't know but like i said it was the only caliper out of all the calipers 
on my truck that was having that one wheel position have a problem. I think there was a pinhole in one of the one of the diaphragms inside the inside the brake caliper itself. So hopefully that helps somebody out there. Um, you know, if you've ever had frozen brakes, then you know uh, it is possible, but uh, you will lessen the frequency of having frozen brakes if you do what I suggest, and I definitely highly suggest that you carry a little mini sledge with you at all times. As always, thanks for watching.